Hey guys, it's uh, John B3 IPS. Uh, welcome to my channel here. All things uh, seems to be always portable antennas. So I got a box today uh, from uh, JNC Radio Chaligans. It is their um, 599 antenna. It's a dipole antenna. So the other ones I have are verticals. COD for uh, importation fees. So let's get this thing opened up. Okay, so it's an HF antenna. It's a, it's a dipole. It's got an interesting mount, the way that it's set up. It's kind of a, an inverted V, but facing that way. So I got the use of a full dipole antenna, multi bands, and it's designed for uh, portable operations, but it also can be used. Uh, not just portable operate, because I'm doing this here at the park, but you can also use it for HOA or Aries and emergency and stuff like that. So the attraction to this antenna was that it also comes with a stand to get it off the ground. So there's a mass tripod assembly. Everything's super well packed. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be the mast assembly. I don't think I've ever done an unboxing video. I just, I don't know. I just find them to be super exciting. But this one I'm excited about because there's just a lot of components here. And uh, the, whole, the whole concept is just uh, very interesting. Okay, so uh, what we got here. So we have the antenna mast itself. This is pretty rugged. Um, Got the mount at the top for the antenna and uh, very solid. As you can see, these are very big, beefy, solid knobs. This reminds me of uh, Manfrotto quality for those that are into the photography business or uh, movie business. Um, they make, uh, it's an Italian company that makes aluminum grip equipment as well as tripods and masks for the filming and on an industry. So anyways, this is pretty solid, pretty rugged, very heavy. Uh, there were two other packages that came with this. Let's see what's inside here. What's inside here is a bunch of screws and stuff like that. So this will probably all play itself into um, M10 bolts, so metric thread. So this is for something, so let's not lose that. I'll end up putting those in a, in a pouch so they don't get lost when they go out to do the deployment. So this is all well wrapped as well here. What's in here? I have no idea. Oh, so these are the ground spikes that are used for the, the radials. These are pretty solid. These, these look better than the ones that I have on my... Uh, North Face 10. So there's one of the, one of the examples of the, the ground stakes for the for the guy lines. This is probably something you want to guy. If I remember correctly, it's a it's a 16 foot uh, 16 foot mass uh, tripod mast assembly, all in one component. So where's my antenna component? Well, it's probably in this box right here. So let's see what's inside here. Oh, look at that. Okay, so the JNC radio, MC599. So if you work CW, it'll be 599 signals, but that tells me that it's strong and clear. It's powered by Chaligans. Comes in this case. I already have this case for the MC750. It looks to be the exact same size. Uh, I'll measure it when I uh, when I end up getting home because when, when the, the package arrived, I, I had a, had the guy put it in the back of my car and I took off and uh, off we went to uh, to uh, here I am at the park here to deploy it. So there are uh, seven megahertz seven megahertz wires. So the, this is a dipole element. So you can use the antenna as a 40 meter dipole uh, up about 16 feet, set up as a, an inverted V that way. That'll give you omnidirectional results. Um, it's one of my favorite POTA antennas is the 40 meter inverted V. No problem working five, six, seven, eight hundred miles out and even some of the DX stations. 
So here are the two 40 meter wires, well built, um, very rugged hardware, uh, stainless steel, included paracord to keep everything isolated. So that's all complete in there. Then in here we have the uh, B base. This is the key critical component. This will fit into the uh, mast assembly itself here on the tripod, coax connector. And then you've got your probably M10 would be the metric thread. So it's not 3 8 24. This is a, a, a different thread count, a European thread metric. But anyways, this is where we now connect in the vertical elements, the telescopic wick elements here. I believe they're probably 17 feet long. So we have a quarter wave on 20. And then um, the innovation that Jesse at um, GNC Radio came up with is they have uh, embedded on here they have markings, so for example, here's 14 megahertz. So all I have to do is extend this out to 14, extend out the telescopic whip. And I have a, four, a 20 meter dipole, this would screw on here. Screws on top of the mast, and then I have my uh, 40 meter dipole elements here. And then extend those out as needed. Obviously, for 40 meters, a quarter wave is going to be 33 feet, and that is uh, outside of the, the the length of these. These are 17 feet long, so again, it works perfect from 20 to uh, 10 meters. Uh, probably can put this up on six meters as well too. 54 inches for six quarter wave. I got a pocket here now for the uh, keep everything nice and tight. It doesn't get uh, scratched or damaged or ruined doesn't get lost and uh, that's basically it so center feed to whip elements I'm gonna put these uh, m10 bolts in here this is some extra ones are in here this is for the uh, 40 meter element on this we'll try this out in the field uh, to see if I have to adjust any of the SWR on it so I have a funny feeling it may be already uh, pre-tuned uh, 440 meters and set it up and go. So we'll give that a try. So that'll fit in there. And uh, we have our stakes for the guy. The only thing I don't see in this packaging is um, paracord for the for the guys, and I don't see maybe a guy ring for it. Uh, maybe. They're just wrapping it around the pool here. We'll, we'll have to see. Um, I'll download the instruction manual uh, when I get home. But wow, this is a really nice mast. And uh, it looks like it has some cushioning on it. So there's some uh, pneumatic into it. But big, beefy knobs, big screws. This looks very, very well built. This is probably a uh, you know, $200, $250, $300, 16-foot uh, uh, mask um, that would be used in the uh, the film industry. Uh, it's that rugged, so it's not these cheap things that are going to fall over. So I'm very uh, very excited about this and the, and the high quality. Everything here screams high quality. Even the case is rugged, and I've got this case for the MC750 antenna that I've been using. Uh, it's one of my favorite antennas, and uh, that one has the same kind of case. So. Everything's all neat, labeled, all ready to go. Pop this in the back of your car, shoot off to the park, and get on the air. So uh, we will do that, not right now in this video. I just want to do a quick unboxing video, show you what it is, get some thoughts out of it. Maybe uh, you guys will go to their website and uh, JNC Radio, MC599 antenna, take a look at the, the operating instruction manual. And uh, my next video will get this deployed. Um, and get this on the air and I'll bring my meter out and uh, we'll do some SWR checks, make sure everything works the way it should and uh, we'll get on the air and make some contacts. Today is not a good radio day. The uh, band condition was uh, red poor uh, for 20 meters and up here in uh, daylight hours. So uh, hopefully the band will pick up later on today but uh, or tomorrow morning uh, when we come back out to the park and do a quick operation and test this antenna out. I'll A-B it with uh, uh, the other JNC antenna, which is the vertical, 
and uh, with a simple AB switch uh, for my portable radios, I can switch between a dipole antenna or I can switch between um, the vertical antenna. Beauty of this is once I set it up, probably want to have two weight bags, two sandbags to make sure it doesn't topple over and bend your whips, um, but uh, or guy it down or both. Um, I now have a dipole antenna and I don't need any trees. I don't have to put any wires up anywhere like I do with my inverted V. Um, I can just put this up and the vertical elements go that way and get on the air, go make your contacts when you're done, pull the whip elements in, unscrew it, put it all back in the bag, put it in the back of your car and take off and go home. Weight wise, not really something for soda. So if you're backpacking in Europe and going to the Alps, this is not the antenna you're gonna use. Those guys are using uh, magnet wire for antennas. Everything's measured by the gram and drilling holes in their shoes to lighten up the shoes so they don't have to carry a lot of weight. Yeah, you're going up 14,000 feet, right? Maybe you're hiking for three hours to get to that soda location. Yeah, not gonna work. But for us guys here in North America, there's a lot of soda locations or kind of drive up locations, or you can go to the parking lot and then you know walk 100 yards or whatever to get to an operating location up at the peak and you'd be all set. This would be ideal for it. It's just a matter of carrying this that along. Um, probably what, one nice thing would be is that there's a carry case for this kind of mast. Uh, so you have two carry cases to bring around, but uh, we'll, we'll investigate that further. Maybe this is something that JNC's uh, radio is coming out as uh, an accessory kit. So that's it, JNC Radio MC599, dipole antenna, 